Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be making the classic granny squares. So this is the square that we're gonna be doing today in this video. As you can see, this is a very classic, easy, uh, basic square and well this has four rounds one two three four and you can use four different colors or you can use three like i did okay so before we start let me tell you a little bit about this square so we are gonna be using a one chain space between every group of double crochet in the corners we're going to be using two chains <clears throat> to make the space that's going to be in the corners we're going to use two chains and the rest is going to be one chain of separation and each group is going to be three double crochet and we're going to start with a magic ring okay so let's start with the first round we're gonna do magic ring and we're gonna start with three chains one two and three and these three chains are always going to count as a double crochet. So we're going to start our groups of three single double crochet. And we're going to do two chains because this is going to be one corner and another group of three double crochet chain two another group two chains and the last group of three double crochet so we're gonna start close closing our ring doesn't have to be too tight and to end this round we are gonna be doing a half double crochet in the third chain where we started so it's going to be one two three chain and we're going to do half double crochet and before we close the half double crochet we're gonna do it with our new color i'm gonna use my darker color in this square to close the half double crochet and that's how we finish the first round and we're gonna cut the light blue to keep working so round two we're gonna start with three chains and we are in the corner so we're gonna work two groups in one corner and they are gonna be separated by two chains that's my first group two chains because we are in the corner and another group that's our first corner 
and remember like I said at the start of the video we are gonna be using one chain between the groups unless it's the corner in the corner it's always gonna be two chains right and the rest is gonna be one chain space so we are not in the corner we do one chain it's right there and we do another corner like the one we just did with two groups of double crochet chain two and the other group for the corner chain one we start another group in the corner chain two chain one and we do our last corner and remember the corners we separate the groups with two chain one two and we do the other group So we finished this round and to close this round we are not doing the chain here instead we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a single crochet so in the third chain we're gonna start our single crochet and before closing it we're gonna work with the next color which I'm gonna be using yellow and we're gonna use this yellow to close and finish the single crochet so we start again round three with chain three and our first group is gonna go in this space that's our first group and we can cut the previous color And so we do chain one to separate and the corner with chain two and we do the next group of three double crochet Now chain one and the next group chain one and we are now at the corner so remember in the corner we're gonna do chain two to separate the groups one, two. Chain one. 
my group of three double crochet chain one now we are in the corner so we do two chain to separate So as you can see, this is a very easy granny square and it works very quickly, I think. And we can use these granny squares for many different projects. We can do blankets, clothes, There's so many options that we can work with this granny square technique. We are in our last corner now and we're doing two chain. And the last group. And we are ready to close round number three and we're gonna close it the same way as we close round number three that it was with a single crochet in the third chain so one two three we start the single crochet and we are gonna close it with our new color gonna be using the dark color so we close the single crochet and we start round four and three chains and the first group goes here chain one And we keep working the same. Just remember that every corner needs two chains to separate the groups. And the rest is gonna be just one chain of separation. Here's a corner, so we do chain two. And the next group. And like I, I said at the start of the video, you can use four different colors. In this case, I just decided to use three. And the fourth color, I'm gonna use it to join my squares for my project. So let me know in the comments what you plan on making with this granny squares. So we are now at the last corner. Remember the corners are chain two. And the last group. And this round, we are, this is the last round. We're gonna close it with a slip stitch.
and we're gonna leave a little tail to hide it and I'm gonna give you a little secret to finish that end so you cannot see like here is where I finished this round and as you can see I made something to create a very nice edge because if you just leave it like this we have this little bump here so we are gonna get rid of that and we're gonna use our needle and what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip this next chain space and we're gonna go to the next we're gonna pass the yarn through there so after that we're gonna go back to the slip stitch that we did and we are gonna create that little chain on top of the other chain so that way we have a nice edge and it's very neat and what is left to do is just hide and cut all this I have now finished hiding all the extra yarn that we have this is how the back looks now and I hope you like this video here's my other squares that I have already started before as you can see you can use so many different color combinations and they look really pretty and you can also block them for your projects but this is it i hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe like this video and share